Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, hopefully everyone had a fantastic holiday, no matter whatever. Again, no matter what you celebrate, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is, hopefully you enjoyed your holiday time with family and friends as well. All right, so we're going to dive into whew, this one, Old Forester King Ranch. Yes, Old Forester King Ranch. Now, I have to give a shout out to uh, one of my patrons, my good friend Tab Ray. Tab out in uh, Texas. As soon as this came out, I was on the hunt for it. But of course, obviously, it's only available in Texas. So I had to reach out to my Texas connections, and uh, my buddy Tab made it come through, come to fruition. So, Tab. I appreciate it, my man. Thank you so much, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. So thanks again, Tap, for hooking me up with this bottle. Ugh. Um, also, before we get started, I need to give a huge shout out to my newest patron, my buddy, Rick Kluse. So Rick, thanks again for supporting the Bourbon Judge. Thank you for becoming a patron. As well as all my other patrons, we have a blast, honestly, we really do, between Discord or other various different forms of communication, always have a blast, tons of different games and, and you know, fun stuff. Um, so again, shout out to you, Rick, as well as all my other patrons as well. Thank you for all the love and all the support and all my subscribers as well. All right. So what do we know about this new Old Forester King's Ranch whiskey? Woo! I'm already messing with the label already. All right. What do we know about it? So essentially, Old Forest are partnering with uh, King Ranch. So King Ranch is a um, obviously a ranch based in uh, in Texas, and it's like eight hundred twenty five thousand acres. That is straight up massive. When I, the only ranch that I know, because obviously I'm not a big rancher myself, <laughs> uh, is Yellowstone from TV, right? Which is supposed to be like in real life, like almost the same size, about eight hundred thousand acres. So these are massive ranches but king ranch itself and then obviously old forester is kind of bringing together like two iconic american brands um you know several hundred years of uh, just great history between those two different brands themselves so they're kind of coming together which i do like that and they are using uh mesquite wood from the king ranch um from from the ranch itself so they're taking the old forester whiskey and then they're then placing it into uh it's going through the whole charcoal filtration process but it's a mesquite uh, with uh, charcoal that they're using from King Ranch. Let me go ahead and get into this nose real quick. Woo, man. The nose of this is pretty nice. I will say that. All right, so King Ranch also owned actually three different Kentucky Derby winners. So three different Kentucky Derby winners, they own them. So there's definitely a link between King Ranch and then obviously with Old Forester as well, right? So there's definitely a connection from that perspective as well. Oh, man. So this one comes in at exactly 105 proof, uh, but again, only available in the state of Texas. So 105 proof, only available in the state of Texas, about $75-ish, you know, obviously every store in, in Texas where you can't find it's gonna be priced a couple of dollars different, but the MSRP again is $75. The question for this one to me, it's gonna be a couple of these. Number one, is it a buy? It's an old Forrester product, so it probably is. But number two, how good is it? How different is it from like a 1910, 1920? And most important, is it really worth tapping into those friends like I did out in Texas and say, hey, remember we're good friends. I need your help. Hook me up with this bottle. That will be the uh, most interesting question. Oh, man. Woo wee. So the nose is definitely very quintessential Old Forester. Very tons of like maple syrup, some bananas caramel very much leather forward but you do also get like that mesquite as well from like the whole charcoal filtration process because they're using a certain type of uh mesquite um charcoal uh, that they're getting from king's ranch so you definitely do get like that spiciness from there as well so it takes like the traditional old forcer note uh nose if you will and it's slightly spicier as a whole a little bit more pepper in that nose also pepper kind of spicy just as a whole mm. Very nice, just traditional old forester as a whole by itself. All right, my friends, real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. If you've tried the new old forester King's Ranch, what are your thoughts? Last but not least, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, come on, get the notification each and every time I release new content. All right, my friends, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah. Woo. So there's a couple of things. Oh wow. That's interesting. Number one, hold on, there's a little, little bit left in this glass. Let me get a little bit more. Hold on. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. A lot of maple syrup. A lot of very much traditional Old Forester notes. Everything from the nose transferred to the palate. Tons of uh, caramel. Tons of, like, maple syrup. Very creamy. Um, definitely that spice, though. The spice from the mesquite uh, charcoal definitely uh, comes through in the palate. It's a little bit hotter than even, like, 105 proof. In my opinion, if I was sipping this blind, I would probably say this is close to, like, 110, maybe even 112 proof. Very nice, though. But, again, traditional Old Forester, your um, maple syrup, your caramel, your leather. Very creamy uh, on, the, on, the, on the palate as well. But definitely a little bit spicier than like a, let's call it even like a 1910. Not as spicy as like a 1920. Probably kind of in between. But definitely that pepper note from the mesquite charcoal is definitely uh, kind of throwing this one off a little bit. But I like it throwing it off in, in a really good way. So the question is, Judge, if I happen to be in Texas, is it a buy? And more important, more important, if I have a, a friend who lives in Texas, is it worth me asking my friends, please pick this up? Folks. The verdict is in. This is a definite buy. I mean, this is a quintessential old Forrester product with a nice little uh, curveball added to it, right? It's actually honestly quite delicious. But I will say, I will say, you know, even though I <laughs> reached out to a lot of friends and my buddy Tab was the one that was kind enough to hook me up, this is one where I like it a lot. But honestly, I do believe it's going to come out next year, more than likely will come out next year in another version, you know, batch two, three, and so on. I probably won't ask Tab or my other friends to give me a bottle next year. I like it. I enjoy it. But it's not that different than their core base product. And actually, because I already tapped into this a little bit, poured a little bit of my Infinity bottle, and even sipped a little bit as well, I have a, uh, let's just call it a poor man's version of this. Ready? All right. In my opinion, this King's Ranch uh, Old Forester whiskey, to me, to me personally, it tastes almost to the T, and I've already tried this already. If you combine Old Forester 1910 and Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, it is almost together. You combine these two together, just take like maybe a half ounce or an ounce of each of these, take them, mix them up for a little bit, try that. Then if you've had this one uh, as well, try this one also right next to it. They are almost like carbon copies, literally very, very close. Not the exact same, but very close. Close enough that you don't have to worry about, you know, reach out to friends and going crazy. This is definitely really, really good, but you can make this product honestly yourself by combining these two together. That simple. All right, my friends, until the next time, as always, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.